Want to know the best way to get an increase in orders as well as engagement on your site this holiday season? Well, the answer is doing a wish list functionality on your site. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why that's important and how to easily set it up on your Shopify store. So make sure to stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elma McCann, and I have been a Shopify expert for over six years now. So I've been through a lot of different holiday seasons, both with my own stores as well as client stores. And I found that what works best for me of getting conversion rates to go up, order total value to go up as well, as well as just more engagement on my Shopify store is enabling a wish list functionality. So what this means is, is that you actually have a area on your site where next to your product button, they have the option to either add that product to the cart or add it to a wish list. And this can be super beneficial for a couple different reasons. First off, they can go ahead and start gathering all the products that they're interested in in your site. So hopefully they're gonna actually end up purchasing a lot more than just maybe one off products, as well as with different wish list apps, you can actually have this functionality to where they can email that wish list to a friend or family member. And this is great for the holiday season because you have different people who don't know what to, to buy for someone else, or maybe they're doing a draw name with their family. And this is a great way to give people the ability to create a wish list on your site directly of all the products that they're interested in, and then give them a link to share with others so that those people can easily come to your site and purchase the items for that loved one. Or maybe you're just shopping for yourself this holiday season, and you can go ahead and just organize all the products that you're interested in on your site. So this is a really cool functionality to have on your Shopify store year round, but especially crucial during the holiday season. So my favorite app to do this is called Wishlist Plus, which you can find in the Shopify app store. And you can easily set it up on your site, make it include your branding and your colors and wording throughout. Plus you can also customize the emails that go out to customers. So you can keep sending them email notifications to remind them that they have a wish list set up on your site, as well as timelines for shipping cutoffs for the holidays, if an item's price has dropped with a Black Friday or Cyber Monday sale, or if an item is running low on stock, which can happen a lot during the holiday season as well. These emails keep people coming back to your site, looking at their wish list again, and hopefully purchasing from you. So this app is really easy to set up. So we're gonna hop into my computer screen now, and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to get enabled for your Shopify store this holiday season. So first we are in the Shopify app store and we are at the Wishlist Plus app and we're just gonna hit add app. We then have to confirm that we are okay with allowing access to different elements and then hit install app. Now we are going to give some information and hit continue. Next you can see that you are given a lot of different options of all the elements that this app can let you do. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are just going to go ahead and say that we're just gonna install the free version. However, these are all the different elements that you can set up with this wishlist app and you can add on with some of the paid versions of it. So we're gonna to hit to add in the free version. So you can see it, there are different plans here, but we're gonna just start out with free. You're then going to customize how your wishlist functionality launches. So you can choose to have it as a floating button over here, as a menu item in the top, or to add it to your header menu. And then you can see there, there are directions that change based on that. But we're going to just set it up as a floating button. So we then have the choice of where we want to place it. So we'll go ahead and say bottom right. And my wish list sounds good. And then we can change our color. So I'm going to just pick this to be black. And we're going to do it as a pop up window and keep that enabled. So we're going to hit continue. So you can customize this however you want. I'm going to do just a regular text version so that way it doesn't get confused with the cart button. And again, we can go ahead and customize the style. So I'm going to make that black as well. And then you have the option of what to change the color to once they have added it to their wish list. So we can keep that red. 
You can also change the text that you can see of add to wish list or added to wish list. And if you want to show the social count of how many people have this on their wish list currently. Now, the benefit of this would be as you get more people to add things to their wish list, you'll have that item count go up a lot. But in the beginning, we're going to just turn this off so that way it doesn't detract people by being a zero there in the beginning when we're first getting people to set up the wish list. And we'll continue to the next step. So in this for name, so this is our email settings, I'm going to put my brand name here and the reply to email address. We can then customize it with our storage logo. So I'm going to upload that real quick. And then we'll hit finish setup. And now you can see again all of the different features that this app lets you do. Um, but you do have to have a paid plan for that. So that's why you see the option to upgrade. So now this is set up on our Shopify store. We can just go to the back end of our Shopify store and I'm going to click on the eyeball next to online store to see our site design. And we can see over here in the right hand corner, we have our heart. If we click on that, we now have this wish list functionality on the site and people can start going in and adding products. And it's really that easy to set up. So make sure whenever you're checking out this app, you see if you want to have some of this functionality available for your customers. And again, you can go through and choose which plan works best for you and then configure them to work and match your branding. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you were able to follow along with me and set up a wish list functionality on your store. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments below and we are happy to help. Also, I would love to hear how your customers are interacting with the wishlist functionality on your site as well. So make sure to comment below and let us know. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you're the first to be notified whenever we put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.